Hello and welcome. What we're going to be looking at in this video is we're going to be looking at the poetry of Kenneth Slessor. We're just going through some things about not only him, we're also going to go through all of his poems and we're going to just have a quick look at, at uh, Slessor's place in Australian literature and how he fits in as a poet and how he just fits in generally into the whole context of Australian literature. Okay, so to start with, he was born in 1901, died in 1971. He was an Australian poet. Uh, he lived much of his life in Sydney. He was born out in Orange, but he moved to Sydney at a very young age. Lived most of his life, actually just around the corner from where we are, in Chatswood. So he wasn't too far away from the city and it was often the subject of his poetry as well. So he really wanted to bring sort of Australia into the modern age, particularly in terms of its literature and, and moving it into the cities where people were starting to live. Uh, he was well known as a poet, as a journalist, and as a war correspondent. So he wasn't just a poet, he had a number of other strings to his bow, so to speak. He certainly had a, a much wider career apart from poetry. In fact, poetry was a small part of his career. He was mainly known as a journalist, and he was involved in a number of different publications. And also served as a correspondent in Africa and New Guinea in World War II as well. And work represents modernity as well as life and death. So he, he tries, as I said before, to bring Australia into the modern age, and certainly in terms of its literature and, and in terms of the subject matter of its literature, to get it away from the bush, and we'll go through that a little bit more later. But also life and death. So he covers some of the things that, uh, a lot of the ideas that a lot of the classic poets covered as well, and particularly this idea of life and death is one that's covered in quite an uh, interesting and quite a unique sense, and particularly Celeste preferred to use a, a very uh, nautical kind of metaphor and particularly use the, the sea and the ocean a lot to uh, symbolize life and death. So there are a number of different aspects to his work and certainly uh, it makes him quite an interesting poet and certainly if you look at him compared to someone like um, Henry Lawson or Banjo Patterson or even other Australian poets, you see him as being someone who is a lot deeper and a lot more varied in terms of his subject matter, certainly one who's more respectful reflective of Australian modern age. He was a very progressive thinker and he certainly carried a lot of values which we see now particularly in a, a multicultural and cosmopolitan society as we are. 